And alright guys, what is going on? How are you all doing? Welcome back to another video on the David Hammond YouTube channel. Now in this one guys, you by the title we are speaking of, straight to it, non-duality, okay? Or this is also known as dualism. Now, if you guys have not seen the other video I made before this one, I'm going to link it just up here. That is on Stoic philosophy because I believe these two practices or... I guess you can call them rituals, we're just going to call them practices, or just ways of being. They go hand in hand, so I definitely recommend you guys check out Stoic Philosophy, and then also Non-Duality or Dualism, okay? So, with that said guys, we're going to break down this practice that I implement myself for years, that has really, really enhanced and changed my life, and I know it will help you guys. We're going to break this video down into three main sections, okay, to keep it nice and simple for myself and you guys. Number one, what is Non-Duality? Number two, why would you practice Non-Duality? And then number three, how do you actually practice this, okay? So what is non-duality? Non-duality, guys, is simply the idea or the state or the being or the the understanding because non-duality in and of itself isn't even necessarily a religion or a philosophy. It is more so a way of being that has been around since the dawn of time. You know, this is why I even searched it up, you know, who created non-duality? And it's very, there was, it, there really was no answer. And that's simply because it's not necessarily a concept that was discovered like it's been around since the dawn of time you know it's kind of like the sun or like the universe or like the earth you know no one for the most part discovered the sun or the earth it was kind of just always there and that's the same thing with non-duality non-duality is simply a state of being it's simply an understanding and what non-duality means in actuality is not to okay duality let's let's break it down duality to have duality means there is two okay there is a dual there's there is a dynamic there's a yes and a no there's a good and there's a bad okay this is what duality is okay that is such a good thing that he you know gave that man five dollars or that is such a bad thing that he took five dollars that is duality it's black and white it's yes or no non-duality is the exact opposite it is the mesh between all it's the everything and nothing there is no separate. There's no such thing as a good and a bad thing. There's no such thing as a right and a wrong thing. There is no such thing as a happy and a bad thing. Everything just is. Okay, now this, this may sound a little uh, backwards or tricky, like, you know, what does that mean? Okay, that's why we now move on to number two. Why would you practice non-duality or dualism? Like, David, that doesn't make any sense. Shouldn't you be attached to these, these states? You know, like, oh, that's such a good thing. Or, oh, that's such a bad thing. Or, oh, I feel so happy. Or, oh, I feel so sad. And in non-duality, you know, you don't. And here's why, okay? Here's why you don't practice this. In my experience, in my research, but really it comes back to my experience, guys, because all we can ever do in life is just give our own experience. You know, you can read a thousand books from other people and biographies, and that's that's fine and dandy. That can open your eyes, but it really comes back to your own experience because that's how we navigate through life, okay? In my experience, through practicing consciously and unconsciously non-duality about three, four years ago, that's when it really like hit me, your life becomes so much easier. It becomes so much simpler. It just becomes literally like a river. Like everything just begins to mesh together and you no longer see life in black and white, in yes or no. And the reason coming full circle why why you would practice this or why you don't want to live in a world that is full of black and white or yes and no is because that in nature goes to show that that's where misery will lie. You know, if you were constantly living in a world of yes and no, then that means 50% of the times you are right, yes, happy, and 50% of the times you're miserable. You see, non-duality, what it does is it meshes both. So you're constantly, in essence, in a state of happiness. There is no such thing as good and bad. Duality is saying, non-duality is saying, no, everything just is. Okay, now let me give you guys some practical examples of this, okay? A big example is you think of the animal kingdom, okay? A tiger or a lion eats a gazelle. This is like a common example with like the duality community, I believe. Um, a tiger eats a gazelle, okay? Who is that good and bad for? And is that good and bad, right? Animals are a perfect example of dualism or non-duality because you have to keep in mind that duality is of the mind, okay? Our mind creates yes and no's. It creates contrast, right? Does that make sense? Our body knows no difference. So if you take away the rational minds, the most, uh, the most evolved part of our brain, the neocortex, which is able to think in yes and no, if you take that away, which animals don't have this, this is why animals can't rationalize, okay? Who, who, I'm kind of going in circles here, but who's that bad for? And is that even bad? Well, in my, in my answer, in my opinion, no, it's not bad, right? If the tiger eats the gazelle, it's not bad for anyone. That's just life. The tiger needed food. The gazelle just died. You know, the tiger needed food. And I mean, that, that's it. You know, maybe it's sad for the gazelle. Maybe it's sad for the tiger. 
long story short, there is no yes or no. There is no black and white. There is no good and bad. Everything just is. And now you can take this to any extreme you want. And this is why I can get a little touchy sometimes where like you can look at things like, you know, I'm going to be completely honest. You can look at things like war. David, how, how in your right mind are you saying war is not a bad thing? Non-duality, what it preaches and practices is, again, there is no such thing as good and bad. War may not necessarily be a bad thing because it is only through something bad that we are able to have something good. Does that make sense? And through that, it meshes together, right? And this, again, this may sound very touchy and, and, and uh, sensitive to you guys, but that is what I practice myself. So let's bring it all full, full circle now to explain to you guys. Number three, how do you practice non-duality? David, I understand what it is, why you practice it. You know, you don't, you want to be in a constant state of just being, not yes or no. How do you do this? How do you tangibly do this? And this will make sense to you guys. Practicing non-duality is very simple. It's living life with no labels. It's living life with no good, no bad, no, this should have happened, this shouldn't have happened, no, amazing, horrible, everything just is, right? You create a business and you fail 10 times on your business. Is that bad? Because those 10 failures, you see, this is where we have to be very open-minded. Those 10 failures could create that massive success. So are those failures bad? Or is that success good? Everything just is. It's together. It's one whole unity, right? You... You know, as an example, I, I tore my pec a little while ago. I injured myself. Okay, maybe to most people that would be bad. To me, it's not, it just is what it is. And in fact, if you listen to the podcast, I said right when I tore it, I was actually kind of grateful because I understand. You see, you can begin to train your mind to understand that everything just is. I tore my pec. The benefits of that taught me about form and taught me about you know maybe I should be a bit more careful with the exercises I choose. And I'm so much more conscientious of my movements that I incorporate with my fitness regime because of that. So you tell me, is that good or bad? This is what non-duality is. It says there is no such thing as good and bad. It just is. Life is moving forward. Life is evolving. I tore the peck. I don't label that, right? And because of that, I don't live in a state of yes or no. I don't get upset by it. I don't get sad. I don't get angry. I don't get, I don't get depressed like most people because they attach themselves to labels, right? So you, like, this is revolutionary, in essence, practicing non-duality, you are never angry or sad because there's no attachment. And this is why non-duality is such a prominent theme in Buddhism or many religions and philosophies. Buddhism practices the main prominent theme is non-attachment. Don't attach to things, right? Labels give attachment to things. Does that make sense? If there's no label, there's no attachment. It just is. It just happened. Okay. So I hope that made sense to you guys. I know this video can be... um or come across as a little insensitive. And I understand that I, I, I completely, completely get that. But I'm just letting you guys know with, with my life in certain situations and circumstances that I truly believe that non-duality or dualism has helped ease the process of my life tenfold. And I, I very, very, if you guys have been watching this channel for a while, I very, very rarely preach or promote, uh, I guess you could say, ways of being to you guys, right? I don't, I don't do this too often. Stoic philosophy and non-duality are the two that I stand behind, and I mean it. So if you guys want to do more research in your own time, please do. There are tons of websites and books, really whatever you want to, uh, to learn more. If you guys want, you can comment down below. I'd love to talk to you guys on a more personal level, but that's that. Now I'm coming to burp. That is that with uh, non-duality. All right, maybe I'll make more videos on this if this didn't make sense. Or please do rewatch this. Or again, just you know, shoot me an email or comment down below. I'd love to uh, maybe explain something better if I if I didn't do so, uh, the best. So that's it. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all. Please do give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment. I will catch you guys. Uh, maybe I'll make more videos like this. Uh, you know, we'll see. I'm only gonna do it if uh, the idea I personally practice myself. I'm not I'm not a channel that just picks and chooses random things so they can get a lot of views. I could not care less about that anyways that's it thanks guys i love you all i will see you in the next video which actually will not be in this house this is the last video you will see in this location we are moving tomorrow uh this is the night before it's around like 11 o'clock and i really want to bang this video out so that's that catching with you guys in the new location thank you all for following me along in this journey thus far i hope this helps i'll talk to you guys soon much love peace